Natasha Bramall and I work at Wessex Archaeology on the community engagement team and I've been designing this project working with volunteers to record artwork across Sheffield to create a resource for people in the city. So Wessex put a call out for volunteers in, in April so it's flown by really but in April we did a call out for volunteers across Sheffield and we had 19 vol volunteers sign up to the project and then we did inductions for those volunteers so we all went into the town centre, had a coffee and we looked at how you record heritage assets and um, how you use the map and all the technology behind it and then we let the volunteers loose recording artworks for three months and then we've had a lovely celebration day today where we've got everyone together and people who have been interested in the project to have some nice food and to say a few words about the project, what might happen next and just celebrate what we've done so far. When we were thinking about this project in the first instance, it seemed to us really one of the better ways of making sure that the art that is placed in the community uh, is cared for by the community is obviously for them to have some sense of ownership of it. And the wonderful work that the volunteers have done, I think, confers that, that ownership. It's great to, to have people from across Sheffield get involved with this and we're quite lucky that our volunteers are from all over Sheffield because they're the ones that know their communities, they know where their artworks are so they can go across Sheffield and then find ones that you know, we wouldn't know about. So bringing all those different communities together and creating something that as a whole um, really represents Sheffield um, is, is really key to this project and um, we'll continue to try and do that as we, as we go on. I've really enjoyed um, walking around recording all the works of art and um, the database was really useful to put it all into context for me to remember to do and, and it was really nice just meeting new people like today you know friends that I'm talking to and different groups and there's been so many such a variety of different people I've spoken to today I've just spoken to some different mental health but you know and I've spoken to the artists I've spoken to the lady who's now working at the the council so it sort of like opens out new worlds really and it, it's quite exciting to be you know out there and doing something just when you're out and about just taking pictures and stuff and random strangers they'll just come and get involved and just be happy to ask you you know what, what are you taking pictures of they'll come and give you information about you know the sculpture you're taking pictures of you like you just start chatting and it just reminds you that, you know, everyone just wants to connect really, especially after this time of COVID. You know, people are just happy to, to talk and, you know, make relationships. So it's really about community, I suppose. I mean, I've got a background of history of art, so I do really enjoy and appreciate art and culture. And it's sort of reaffirmed for me that, you know, I can go out there and still do it because it's been dormant for quite a quite a number of years and it sort of spurred me on to be wanting to be more involved with, with the artistic community again I think. I've met so many nice people, I'm not just saying that but um, so many volunteers just from different walks of life. Natasha's been really nice just the way she's organised it and everything, just a nice personality, just making everyone feel really welcome. I'd do it all again, not just saying that because I'm on camera, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, gladly.